four tips to make packing for a move more efficient. All right, we are on the move, people. Selling the Mr.'s first home has been a little bittersweet, but boy, are we excited for our new place. The location is great for the lifestyle we want to further build, and the amount of hosting space is fantastic. People have been asking if this means we will start a family to fill the bedrooms we have, and my response is, no, those are all for guests. I think I stand pretty alone in stating that I enjoy packing. It is stressful yet so satisfying. Over the years, I have picked up a few tricks that help with making the packing process more efficient. If you want to learn how to make a move more stress-free, read on. Number one, focus on one room at a time. If you try and pack a little bit of every room at once, you will feel overwhelmed by your belongings. Instead, pick the room with the least amount of packing requirement as your first task. This will give you a soft start to the not-so-soft goal of packing up a home. If you have ever heard of the snowball effect for managing debt, this is essentially the same thing. Starting with something small that you can conquer in a quick period of time will give you the motivation needed to conquer the more time-consuming and energy-demanding tasks. You can also break this down further and focus on one area of a room at a time. For example, pack the closet, then the dresser, then your bedding, then your ensuite. Number two, label your boxes. Once you start stacking boxes, everything looks the same. Labeling your boxes can be done in a few different ways and it will make the world of a difference when unloading your trailer at the new place. Method two is one I am incorporating a lot into my packing. I tend to get excited packing items away only to later realize I still need them. So labeling will also help in hunting down those items if need be. So method one, colorful numbers. Assign each room in your home a number or tape slash marker color. You can make the master bedroom number one, bathroom number two, office number three, and ensure that every box packed in said room is labeled with the appropriate number. This will also make unloading into the new home easier since you will know which box belongs in what room. Let's be honest, having 20 partially open boxes sitting in the front entrance is not calming or an appealing look for a new home. Method two, list your items. On my boxes, I write things like kitchen, blender, Tupperware, baking. This way I have an idea of what is in the box and what room it will need to be placed in once unloaded. Cons to this method is it makes reusing boxes really difficult if you are planning to move again or give your boxes to somebody else. Method three, an Excel spreadsheet coding. Okay, this one's a little too type A, even for me, but if you have a niche for Excel and organization, this might be your thing. Code each box with a number and letter, so 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B. In your Excel spreadsheet, write what is in it. It makes the boxes easily reusable, and it gives you the freedom to be as detailed as you desire when listing packed items. This is also a good way to track your belongings if you are hiring a moving company or making several stops during your move. So if you're going from your place to your parents' place to a storage unit and then home. Number three, keep clothes on hangers. I used to pack each individual item into a suitcase and it would take me way too long to get the job done. My new go-to move, grabbing a few hangers with clothes of similar lengths, laying it flat on the floor and neatly rolling it into one unit to be packed away. Once you begin unpacking, all you have to do is unroll the bundle, hang the item up and you're done. Side note, I don't prefer this method for coats as it already is quite bulky. Number four, load and unload your trailer by room. If you are not showing your current home to potential buyers, it gives you the freedom to keep boxes in their appropriate rooms until you pack the vehicle and move. We had to place all of our boxes in the garage as no potential buyer wants to see the kind of mess while they were envisioning themselves living in our space. My goal was to have small posted notes on the wall showing the room where each set of boxes came from, but that flew out the window once we started moving boxes. However, I still intend to pack our trailer by room. Start by identifying your heavier boxes and placing those on the trailer floor. From there, you can stack the remaining boxes in each room on top of each other in order to keep them grouped. 
Once you begin unloading your trailer, ensure that each box is taken to the appropriate room to save having to move all the boxes multiple times. And a bonus tip, declutter as you pack. If you have boxes that are full of knickknacks or mounds of old clothes that no longer fit, go through them and toss or donate what you do not need. This will lessen how much you have to pack, move, and then unpack, and it will also give your new home a fresh and clutter-free start. Do you have any go-to packing trips that have made moving easier for you? Share them with us on a comment below. With love, Ashley.